Well, we have to build on that momentum that happened from the federal election. We just came from our convention for, for our union in Ontario, a thousand delegates who just endorsed our provincial election plan where we say we're going to support the NDP. It's because the NDP is the only party that has a platform that will work for our communities, that will invest in services, that will build our communities and not the business community. Uh, and that's why uh, we are so excited about this provincial campaign and we know how important it is. Henri made some real inroads the last uh, provincial election in this riding. What do you hope, um, I mean obviously you hope that he's going to win, but what do you see as uh, maybe those places that he can make uh, further inroads in, and actually maybe be triumphant this time? There, there's real uh, ways to build on the strong base that's already here in this riding, um, on the momentum that happened in the federal election, because, the, again, the NDP will be the only party that will actually speak to the issues that will affect people every day, that will, that will make their lives easier, that will make sure that they have services, not small tax credits that at the end of the day end up to nothing, uh, that actually uh, has a government that cares about them. So in this riding, in this area, uh, you know, there isn't going to be uh, a liberal vote, really. In fact, the Liberals, let's be honest, have collapsed across the province. The only way to strategically vote in this riding is to vote for the NDP. The only way to make sure uh, that we don't have a government that you know has released its platform. It, they're pretty clear. that the, the Tories are very clear about where they would go. Regardless of their candidate in any community who might be a nice man or a nice woman, that platform is not a platform that will be nice to our communities. It will cut jobs. It will hurt the economy. It will make working people pay more. It will not help us. So uh, there's all kinds of opportunities for candidates like Henri Giroux to make real inroads in the community. I, uh, I've been traveling around Ontario the last couple of weeks and, and um, talking with some folks. and. Um, I do hear sometimes that the NDP has not been forgiven for Bob Ray and the Ray days. How do you break out of that to convince folks that you actually um, wouldn't return to something such as the Ray days? Well, it's important for people to know that, first of all, that was a very long time ago. Secondly, the current NDP caucus, in fact, the party at a policy convention, passed a resolution saying it would never do that again. What's also important to understand is that Bob Ray, who was the leader at the time, has shown his true colors. He defected and went to the Liberals. He was never really an NDP -er. He was always, and he is now where he belongs, with that party that has no principle. The party that will move from left to right to center to whatever think they think the which way the wind's blowing, and that's called the Liberal Party. We're in a very different time, and we're in a critical election. Now is not the time for people to think about what happened two decades ago. Now is the time for people to think about what we must do today, about the leader we have today, about the candidates we have today. Henri Giroux is a public sector worker. He's a labor leader. He's never going to, un he's never going to agree to those kind of things happening again. In fact, the party said it would never do it again. And, and, and what does the NDP bring to Ontario, um, you know, based on we do know what the, the Conservatives are, are bringing and the Liberals are slowly but surely getting themselves together. What, what does the NDP offer that those two parties don't, or even the Green Party? One of the first things we offer that the other two parties don't is real leadership in Andrea Horvath. She's a working mother. She understands the... the, the the day-to-day -day lives that we all lead, because she leads it too. She has real energy and real commitment. She's been traveling the province, listening to people. She comes from the community. She did social and community development. She understands how to make things work when people work together. That's an asset that we have that the other two parties do not. You know, the Liberals are led by somebody who's been there for a very long time and who's, you know, stopped listening uh, and is more worried about getting re-elected than about any party policy or principle. And then the Tories have a guy who was part of, a, of the most divisive government. He was a cabinet minister in Mike Harris's government. He was part of destroying the province that our parents and grandparents built. People forget that about Tim Hudak. So we have a real, real momentum and real choice already, just with our leader. But then when you look at the candidates that we have, who are involved in their communities, who are really part of their community, like Henri, who's engaged here, who lives here, who's raised his family here, his children, his grandchildren, who has deep roots in the community, who's worked here his whole life, who's volunteered and participated here, who knows this community and the communities around North Bay like the back of his hand. 
He's one of dozens of candidates like we have in the party like this. And so, and we have a platform that actually speaks to people. It talks about how, you know, instead of giving huge corporate tax cuts to people making billions of dollars in profit, that that money would come back so that we could use it to make your life easier, my life easier, to provide the public services we need, the health care we need, the education our kids need. Those are the kinds of solutions that Ontarians need. And that's why the NDP is going to have momentum in this campaign like never before.